Most people have accidentally deleted something important or had a USB or external drive fail when most needed. While your files might still be recoverable, you might need dedicated software to do the trick or professional file recovery services, which could cost a pretty penny you might not have. If you're looking for free software, you want the best and most intuitive thing you can get your hands on. Here's our pick. While you'll find a bunch of different free data recovery programs for Windows, several of them are out of date or are previews for a premium product that doesn't really do too much. Microsoft does have free software that you can use, but unless you're familiar with command line, it's a bit hard to use. With that in mind, our pick for the best free data recovery program for Windows goes to QPhoto Rec. Based on the command line tools Test Disk and Photo Rec, this app makes things a whole lot easier to use by giving you a fairly straightforward user interface rather than running from a command prompt. While it does a great job detecting and recovering data for quite a few file types, the program might not be able to extract the file's metadata and your files will be given generic names. You'll have to sift through a bunch of recovered files before finding the ones you need. To use it, just download test disk from the first link in the description below, then extract the contents of the zip file to a folder. Open that folder, find QPhoto Rec, and double click it. You might get a warning prompt from Windows. Just click see more, then run anyway. Once the program loads up, select the disk or drive you need to recover files from at the top, then select the partition that contains your files from the list below. If you're not sure, you can scan the entire disk. After that, check your file system type. While the app does a pretty good job detecting this automatically, you'll have to select it manually if you don't see a file system next to the partition you selected. By rule of thumb, hard drives partitioned for Windows use NTFS formatting. Ones for macOS use HFS Plus, and Linux drives use EXT4, while external drives use FAT. Depending on the partition you select, you can opt to scan only for deleted files or recover all of the files in a partition by selecting either free or whole. If you're looking for specific file types, click on file formats at the bottom of the window and a window will pop up showing you all of the file types you can recover. If you only want to recover a specific type of file, click reset, then find the file types you want to recover from the list and check the box next to each of them. Now that that's been set, click on OK. The final thing you need to do is set a destination folder for your recovered files. This folder can't be on the hard drive you're recovering from. If you're recovering a lot of large files, we advise you to have a secondary drive plugged in and ready to go. Click on Browse to set a recovery destination. Navigate to the folder you want to save your recovered files to in the Finder window that pops up. Then click on Select Folder. Click on Search and the program will attempt to recover your deleted files. Depending on the preferences you've set, recovery may take a while. Once it's done, you'll find a list of recovered files in the folder you've set. If you're a more tech-savvy user and you aren't afraid of using command line, you can use the more advanced tool bundled in, Test Disk. Just click on the second link in the description below to learn more. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows 10 and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.